I'm going to show you Jenny's surprisingly stretchy bind off. This is one of my main bind offs that I use because it's sturdy and it's stretchy and it's very easy to do. I like to go down one needle size. I find that it flares just a little bit uh, if I use the same size one, especially if I'm doing ribbing. So I just go down one needle size and for the record, I knit, I usually bind off too tight, which is why I love this bind off because it's so stretchy. So it's going to start like you normally would when you're binding off. You're just going to knit this first stitch. And then you're going to do a backwards yarn over. You're gonna come from the back to the front instead of from the front to the back like a normal yarn over. From the back to the front, and you're going to knit the second stitch, and then you're going to slip the yarn over and the first knit stitch over this second knit stitch. Ta-da. Again, yarn over from the back to the front. Oh, wait a minute, sorry. I'm working a two by three ribbing here, and I'm going to bind off in pattern. So if I came from the back to the front for a backwards yarn over for the knit stitch, I'm gonna do just a regular yarn over for a purl stitch. And the idea is, you see if I'm doing for a knit stitch, I come all the way around, and then when I put the needle into the stitch, this, this yarn over is all the way around the needle. So the same thing's gonna go for doing a regular yarn over and then a purl. See how the yarn comes all the way back around the needle? So you're gonna purl this stitch and then you're gonna slide in. And that's what I like about purling, uh, this bind off for purling, especially if you're binding off on the wrong side. It just really gives you a nice wide open window to get in there to then slide, slip those two uh, stitches, well, the yarn over and the stitch over this next stitch. So again, regular yarn over, oops, purl, slip the yarn over and the first stitch over this one. So you're always gonna have one needle on the working, one finished stitch on the right hand needle when you've done, when you're done slipping. So again, yarn over, purl, pass these two over so that I have one stitch. Now this is gonna be a knit stitch, so I'm gonna do the backwards yarn over, knit this stitch, Get in here, so pass these two over this one. Again, backwards yarn over for my knit. So pass those two over. Now I've got a purl stitch, so I'm gonna do a regular yarn over, purl, and pass the two over, regular, purl, pass the two over. Regular yarn over, purl, pass the two over. Oh, that was tight. And a backwards yarn over for a knit stitch. Pass these two stitches over. Backwards, hold on. Sorry, my yarn is trapped. Backwards yarn over, knit stitch. Pass the two over. I'm going to switch to throwing or uh, English. I am not that great at it, so I apologize in advance for any uh, sloppiness. So we're going to yarn over from the back and around. Oops, I'm sorry. And then we're going to purl this stitch. And then we're going to... <laughs> I used to throw too, and I once I learned to continental knit, I just, I can't find my tensioning. Again. Oops, so sorry. Can't find my tensioning anymore. I'll go back, sorry. I'm really trying to <laughs> do it this way for you so you can, you throwers can see. And then you'll slide these two over. and <laughs> yarn over from front to back and then purl and then you'll slide these two
So you see, once you get into a rhythm, it's quite easy and quick. It's really not much different than your standard knit bind off. You just have that extra little backwards yarn, well, depending on what you're doing, but the yarn over. Now I know some knitters do the same backwards way for both stitches. I just find that it's, I, I don't know, I get, I, I like it this way better. Getting towards the end. I really like this bind off too because uh, not only for its stretchiness, but there's a cool kind of decorative aspect to it. And you can choose, oops, uh, which, which, uh, which way you want it to go. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a sec. Sorry. Whoopsies. Let's try that again. So, uh, because my ribbing changed right before I bound off, uh, you're not gonna it's not gonna look as neat as it could if it was uh, if I had continued the two by two ribbing but I changed things up and um, I'm actually gonna rip these out this was just a little experiment and um, I thought I would show you take an opportunity to have <laughs> something worked up before I take it off, I would show you what this bind off. Okay. So the same thing is normal. You'll have this one last loop. I like to, when I'm binding off, I'm kind of, oh, so sorry again. You have this kind of, you end up with this little like, I don't know, kind of gappy thing, right? That just looks a little weird. So what I do to fix that is I just go into this I go under both of the V's of this first stitch or the next one in the round, however you want to look at it. And then I just knit through that and slip this last stitch over that stitch. And you see it just closes that gap up really nicely. And then I would break my yarn, pull my tail through and weave in my ends, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm not gonna do this. But I just wanna show you. This is why I go down a needle size. And again, I switched to a two by three rib, right? You can see right, right here is when I switched. And so that's why these don't line up so nicely, but it gives a really, really stretchy bind off. And then you see these kind of little, like, I don't know, they're like little pillars or like columns almost. They're really cool looking. And Depending on uh, which which side you're binding off on, so if you are working a a stock a field of stockinette, you could choose to bind off knit wise on the knit side, or you could bind off purl wise on the knit side, or you could bind off purl wise on the purl side, or you could bind off knit wise on the knit side. And I encourage you to do a little experiment to see because they all give a slightly different look and uh, can be subtle or decorative depending on which you choose. Um, I hope I didn't just confuse you too much with that. If that was a lot, just forget what I just said if that's just too much and, and you'll see, just you'll see when you as you work it. Um, but anyway, that was Jenny's surprisingly stretchy bind off. 
stretchy. This is this would be the top of a uh, arm warmer. So you see when it goes on, and it just it'll be up here, and so it just stays nice and stretched. It's not pinching my arm in any way, but it's nice and snug. Yeah, Jenny's surprisingly stretchy bind off. 